Hi guys, welcome back. If you, well, if you see any of my videos, welcome back. I often talk about music, I've said this before, but what's different about this video? The two bands I saw this time were at arena gigs. Usually I like to keep my gigs quite small or medium sized, small to medium sized venues. Don't really do arena stuff that much, I haven't done one for a good few years, but well, this month I've done two. The first one was Stereophonics, supported by 10 Tons, who, if you've seen my Neighbourhood Festival video, you'll see that he was really good, so it's quite looking forward to seeing him again. And that was at the Metro Radio Arena in Newcastle. And the other one was 30 Seconds to Mars. But this, that was a childhood dream for me. I was so excited to see them. And, uh, that was at the Manchester Arena. Two completely different types of gigs. Like, start with Stereophonics. Got a lot of classic songs that everyone's going to know from through nostalgia. The new material is really good. But what I liked when they did in this show, as part of their like, oh, let's put on a big show, they put a lot of footage behind them. All sorts of stuff going on behind them. Uh, footage of them touring when they were younger. And while playing that behind the new songs, it makes it feel nostalgic without actually being nostalgic because you're half concentrate on that, half concentrate on the new songs. Now, I know they are known as being a bit of a dad band. I did go with my dad, so I can't really defend that point. But they were good. I really enjoyed myself. Uh, I had a 200 mile drive. Not just shy a 200 mile drive right after that gig, so I was quite happy to be seated. Way far back. I still had quite a good view. Maybe could have been done being a little bit closer, because when I stood up, the, the tier above me, the bars were like here. So I'm just like, ah. Well, now we can see them. Now. 30 Seconds to Mars. Their music has changed so much over the years. Like, you, if you play Capricorn next to Walk on Water, you, could, you, can't, you can barely even tell they're the same band. I've wanted to see these for years, and they didn't disappoint. They were absolutely amazing. They broke that arena feel of not being very personal. And what I mean by that is that smaller to medium gigs, you feel a lot closer to the band, it feels like more personal experience, it feels like you're involved. But arenas, you're there to watch a show. Now what Jared Leto did, well he did this a few times throughout the gig, he'd bring people up on stage, at one point he had dozens of people up on stage. In what city are you from? Liverpool! Liverpool! Fuck yeah. And all throughout, we had cameras that walk around watching him and the band, and, but most of the time they were on the crowd things for the crowd to do. I'm going to show you a bit of footage here from one of the most incredible moments in my personal gig experiences. Motherfucking oh, fucking balloons, they were great. They, didn't get, they got me twice in the face as I was taking a break to go on my phone. My own fault, I'll stop paying attention just for a brief second. Uh, I saw a performance, it was just, they were fantastic. It was so much energy. Maybe a bit too much letting the crowd sing. My well, one gripe. Before I go into my gripe, I'm just going to show a bit more footage of them.
So a one gripe. They played nothing off the first album. I really wanted to hear Capricorn and Attack. And they didn't play from yesterday. It was on the set list. They didn't stick to the set set list which had came out. Which quite so I think that means each city you go each city they go to isn't necessarily gonna get the exact same set. I really wanted it from yesterday. Like, I feel like that's one of their biggest things. So we've got the kill. And everyone was absolutely fucking crazy when the kill came on. Uh, I think maybe if he talked to the crowd a little bit less, because he did spend a long there was a lot. A lot of downtime sometimes, especially when great. All right, fair enough. Okay. Someone proposed on stage that took up a lot more time. We could have got one song. We could have had from yesterday. I might have been pushing for attack, but we could have had from yesterday. So yeah, two really good gigs, massive gigs. A really good support band in Ten Tons. Face Angels and Mars didn't really have a support act. Now my next gig is at the Manchester Apollo, and that is George Ezra. So Ten Tons is big brother. That's my last gig I have planned, which is strange. I'm used to having these planned weeks or months in advance, but I haven't got any more after this. I've been doing this for a year and a half, going to see a minimum of one band a month. I'm kind of scared that this might be coming to the end.